was here. I think the idea here is to really professionalize jail management. This is the opposite of devolution. Uh, instead of devolving jail management to the local government, we are reversing it and uh, putting it uh, to the national government level. Incidentally, the officers, many officers of the BJP are graduates of the Philippine National Police Academy. So that by itself uh, injects uh, a certain brand of uh, professionalism that uh, the provincial jail officers cannot achieve. Uh, not to mention that uh, when somebody enters a BJMP as an officer, his career can go up to the highest level, which is a three-star uh, director. I think director for the head of BJMP, you no know, three stars, which uh, a provincial jail officer cannot achieve. Uh, that's the highest. Angkang sa dulang siya, no. Plus, uh, it will depend now on the financial capability of the provincial government to upgrade this other level, unlike uh, in the case of the national government. This is a support by the GAA. Of course, uh, maybe there are wealthier uh, provincial governments that can provide uh, better incentives, which they do with respect to the BJP. LGUs, uh, they, they give, I think, additional incentives and support, even uh, including the physical uh, facilities. But I think uh, one of the problems here now would be the real state uh, issue, because a lot of these uh, provincial jails are located now in the prime land. Nukuna malayo sila sa sa lugar, but uh, now uh, some of these provincial jails have been overtaken by progress, and they're now in the prime areas. Uh, like for example, Sarisal, that is my basic uh, area. Uh, in, in Baholod, you know that, nasa loob na ng uh, siyudad yung uh, dati nasa outskirt dyan. So that will be an issue that will have to be tackled in this bill. I don't know the, the idea of uh, the principal author on how to dispose of the land because I think the provincial government might not want to donate the land to the BJMP in the uh, process of the turnover. So that's all I'm yeah. that's, that's precisely, uh, thank you very much. That's precisely my first question uh, to the BJMP and to the proponents because uh, uh, I'm sure uh, the, the question of governors and the provincial governments in this case would be number one, uh, uh, how do we treat the the real estate and the facilities that, for which they have spent uh, quite substantial amounts. Uh, do we reimburse them? Do we replicate? Uh, or do we, uh, uh, of course, the BJMP wants it, it to be donated, but I don't know if uh, the provinces will agree to such uh, arrangement because there are a lot of, in fact, the provincial jail in Cebu is situated in quite a, uh, 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 it, it's a, uh, the land, uh, the real estate uh, there is quite uh, expensive and they have spent a lot uh, for the new uh, provincial jail. So uh, that is precisely why I'm trying to get the position paper of the League of Provinces uh, on the matter so that uh, uh, we can proceed uh, if we can resolve that issue. And second, of course, is the how to treat the existing personnel. Uh, Chairman, I think there's going to be a big problem on how they can be integrated. Uh, this is the problem that was encountered in the case of the Philippine National Police when the Philippine Constabulary and the INP were integrated. There's a disparity in uh, orientation, in educational background. I think the same is true in the case of the BJMP and the provincial uh, uh, jail uh, funds, uh, managers. Can, can I just inform the committee that there are a number of provincial government that have turned into a memorandum of agreement with BJP to now manage their provincial jails. And uh, when I was governor, we were we, we were offered also by the BJP, and the reason that we did not push through was because when our legal officer reviewed it, the the responsibility in case things happen in the provincial jail still remain with us uh, because by law it was given to us. Therefore, we cannot just enter into a memorandum of agreement.
However, let, let me just share that there are a number of governors that are willing to donate their jails and the property that goes along with it, maybe because it's not that expensive, located in the areas, but it's not yet prime uh, property. Second, just to do away with uh, with management of the jail, Bureau of Jail Management, because I have visited some of the jails in, in Luzon, like Nueva Vizcaya, and we envy them because First, there are only a few prisoners, uh, detainees. Second, the crime that they're accused of the highest maybe is estafa, like in Bohol or ganun lang, no? Unlike so many of us, where, where first we have a thousand or more prisoners that we are guarding, second, that the crimes that they are, they have committed, maybe they are already syndicated uh, uh, kidnappers, uh, bombers, etc. It's very, very difficult for a provincial government to look for people who has the, the the qualification to run, to professionally run the, the provincial jails. We have requested for a treaty where can we send uh, provincial jail uh, guards or wardens to be trained, and we discovered that there are none. We can only request for BJP personnel to come again once in a while to give short courses, of, uh, short training for our personnel. But there's no no school giving that kind of, uh, of training professionally. Well, what about the DILG, considering that the DILG has uh, uh, supervisory uh, functions over local governments? Uh, is there a mechanism where uh, some sort of uh, standardization of, of I mean, the standards of running uh, provincial jails. Is there a program uh, with the DILG regarding this? Okay, Walker, um, we supervise because the BJMP is an task agency. Of no, no, I'm talking about BJMP. I'm talking about how provinces are running uh, provincial jails. Is there a, is there a, a program under the DILG to help standardize that? Upgrade the standards of uh, provincial jails. Your Honor, you're, if, I'm, if I'm correct, you're referring to the local government sector. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, can, yes. can we uh, refer that matter to the local government sector? Because uh, you say Pulo, I'm under the office of using Pulo, which is for the interior sector. Uh, as far as you know, to your knowledge, is there a program? I don't know. So, so it's the chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Congressman Antonino, then Congressman Farinas, then Ocampos. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank the author, uh, Representative Daisy Antoinettes, for bringing this uh, this problem up in the committee. And uh, for a long time, I have been really at the thinking of uh, the BJMP being the previous chairman of this committee. And uh, I've always been wondering why the BJMP was under the DILG. I've always wondered why local governments were involved in jail management. Uh, it is, seems to be a very far and uh, odd function for a local government unit to undertake. You know, but it doesn't mean that was the way it was. And uh, like for instance, uh, those that are jailed six years and under in their provincial jails, you know, the, their crimes are basically uh, statutory crimes, crimes by law. We do not classify crimes into whether crimes are of a national nature or of a provincial nature. You know, all crimes, when, when they are sentenced and they are jailed, are all sentenced for crimes against national laws you know, under the penal code. That's why uh, this uh, particular uh, bill, I think, attempts to to somewhat rationalize. No, I, I, but it, I think we need to go further than just the the, the plain uh, placing the provincial jails under the BJMP. Uh, uh, my, my feeling over these years has always been that we need to rationalize the whole jail management and penology system in the Philippines. Uh, we need to put that under an agency, uh, whether that be the Bureau of Corrections or the BJMP or what, but it has to be under one, uh, one agency 
so that everything is standardized. For instance, in Nueva Ecija, the jail warden there is a political appointee. He has no management in jail management. He has no experience in jail management. He is basically someone picked up by the governor and said, well, okay, he can't handle the provincial jail. So, a lot of the personnel that are in the provincial jails are all, as the governors, are, as Daisy said, uh, a former governor, are all under job orders. Well, I'm going to co terminus with, with, the, with the governor. So, talagang, in as far as the provincial jails are concerned, and I only touch on the provincial jails for now, there's still the, the municipal jails, but most of the municipal jails are basically jails of the PNP. No, hindi naman talaga jail ng munisipyo, jail ng police station yun, yung municipal jails. No? Then, siyempre, meron rin silang uh, uh, city jails, no? so, sa PNP, meron naman city jails. No? Na, na meron sila. Pero all of these uh, are, are all one function is uh, how do we uh, execute the penalties as prescribed by a court against a convicted uh, criminal. No? And ang daming treatment eh. Meron padala sa provincial jail. Meron padala sa Pilipin. Diba? Meron yung iba na iiwan na lang sa under the custody of uh, of a, 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 a jail, no? wherever that may be. Pero wala talaga ng standardization yung, yung jail management. And uh, for the most part, uh, the BJMP na standardized na yung mga salaries nila, no? so okay na sila. Pero how about these other things? And I think the problem is really a lot more. Uh, we need a lot more holistic approach. Kasi if we just transfer provincial jails and say, oh, transfer yan, Marami ng questions eh. As pointed out by the Honorable Piazon, una na, paano ang sweldo? Paano yung hindi qualified? Paano as uh, the Honorable Wallace said, uh, paano mo integrate yung mga employed by the province in the provincial jails? How do you integrate this into the structure of the BJMP? Uh, do we ask the BJMP like uh, that what happened uh, with the Philippine National Police, no? During that time, uh, nung sa National Police no, nung na-create dyan, ang ginawa, o oh, sige, yung mga hindi underqualified, bigyan na lang naman taon uh, para mag-college graduate. I think that was the thing there. But what happened there? There was always extensions to it. Extensions, extension, extension, until it came to a point that last Congress, we had to pass a bill uh, that uh, basically lifted the educational requirements in lieu of the experience of the police. No? So, mas hindi ka na college graduate, okay lang kasi you have 20 years in service. Could we do the same thing with this? So, there are so many questions that need to be answered. But I think more importantly, this bill at least opens the door uh, to the problem and coming up to a resolution. But I think it will not be the holistic resolution that probably we all are looking for in terms of our jail management and problem. We really need to do that. May I ask, uh, sorry if I'm taking so long, but uh, may I just ask a short question of the Department of Justice? Just a parole system, yeah. the, uh, the parole system works for prisoners in the national belief. Uh, the parole system, it is correct, Your Honor, that it only applies to convicted uh, criminals. Correct, but uh, is it only for, for those that are that uh, imprisoned in the national believe it? Or can somebody that is convicted, let's say, for an offense six years in parole, is there a probationary or a parole system for them that are in the provincial jails? Yes, probably. But does it go through also the legal jail? Yes, Your Honor. Also, here we have it again, another another problem. What can Mr. Chairman Can I share a uh, little bit about Before you do that, uh, let me acknowledge uh, Congressman Kimbo. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, when we first uh, filed this bill, there was already a, a sort of a collective uh, realization that this, 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 uh, there are deeper problems that we should address when we unify the, the penology system. 
However, we we'll find that uh, there are turfing. Uh, we will be meeting turfing battles. Uh, the board, the Bureau of Correction or DOJ, will object giving up their authority over what they have now, and the BJP will also object being locked within now that they are independent. That's the reason also that this bill did not prosper. The last many times it was fine. Um, and then we talked about Bureau of Probation Office. Uh, let me share that the provincial offices of the probation office usually are being supported by the provincial government. They have maybe two or three people. They don't have money. They don't have programs. So they will depend on the provincial government to fund them, even their mobility and their programs. I think it is true almost 90% all over the country, or even 100%. So here you have also, in the Bureau of Correction, a lot of problem. And in BJP, you look at it, there's a lot of problem. And you have the provincial government, year in, year out, those who are not able to respond, because that's really not their, their concern. Uh, having also problem running the provincial jails. So our 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 concern is what do we do about it? What is uh, achievable in so short a period of, uh, of time? Because I think Governor Sandana is here, and I think Farinas has been governor. They know the problem of running the provincial jail. And maybe I'm just being honest and frank. When I say that many of us governors are not really equipped, or the provincial government is not really equipped to run a professional and manage a professional penology system. Congressman Farinas. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh, before that, uh, I just ask a question for the BJP. Who exercises administrative uh, disciplinary action over your personnel? BJP. Personally, you saw Lewak City, the castle, you know, disciplinary authority. For, uh, Your Honor, for a, uh, a JO, or for a personal veteran of JO, one of the SGO for the ES assigned in the, the, the regional jurisdiction. It's the region. 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 For officers, Your Honor, it's, uh, it's uh, primarily the chief of the DOJ management. They don't have Sala Manila. Yes, however, if the if the offense is uh, a uh, dreamless offense or a, okay. a light offense, is the uh, still the region of the You know, the problem here is, as the, with due respect to Daisy, the authors, as brought, uh, already mentioned by Congressman Gómez, the trend now is decentralization. That's why even some sectors want federalization, to give more powers to those in the front line. Now, before most of you, before you were even born in the BJMP, I was already the jailer of Minos now. When Congressman Akok was my provincial commander in 1988, well, I'm a BJMP. So, jailer of the province is the governor of the jailer. He runs the jail system. Now, when the BJMP was born, I'm tired of the restriction, but it's only the municipal and city jails. There were no city jails at all. So, there were two penal institutions, the one run by the province and the one run by the local the BJP. Now, if we want to bring everything back to the national government, there's a problem of accountability because, for example, a relative of an inmate is abused. Now, for a long time, they are the abolition of the government. To get uh, uh, accountability. Whereas, if it is the governor, suspended, you are more accountable. So, with due respect to others, I'm taking it into instead of centralizing it, let's go decentralize everything, but it's enough. Give money to the local governments. In fact, that was the suggestion I made when we went to the delivery prison. That the minimum pressure is it's a city by itself. They have 13,000, you know, uh, in this little, uh, learning business, uh, believe it, I don't know. I was 
BGA block, how many JMs run by BGA below standards? And what is the standard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. City or provincial, but they are all the same. They are all jails. So, uh, I don't know if you can say a standard. Do you have a standard that you maintain? Can I ask uh, Mr. Chair the BGA? Yes, Your Honor, we have standards, for example, on uh, construction of jails. The, we have standards on the mining of jails. We have standards, our own standard on personal discipline, and uh, a lot of other uh, policies and guidelines that cover every national can, standard. Can you, uh, can you provide the committee with uh, those standards? Yes, Your Honor. Because in the Congress of suggestion that we look at provincial jails and uh, look at how many provincial jails are at par or sub par or better than PJP, then we will need those standards uh, to judge uh, what are the conditions really in our uh, provincial jails. So can you please, uh, we did next week? Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, uh, Congressman Delgado. I suggest that the Department of Interior of Lo and Local Government be also required. Yes. Because I think BJP will have a difficult time uh, looking at provincial jails yes, because they don't have authority, but the ALG has yes. an authority. That's why I, earlier I asked uh, the ALG, although uh, it comes from a different section of uh, the, the ALG, whether there is a program, uh, there is a standard, no? there is an office uh, looking at this. Uh, maybe the committee be uh, informed whether there is such an office uh, looking at the conditions of provincial jails and uh, upgrading the standards of provincial jails. Uh, Your Honor, based on my knowledge, uh, there's not, but we will double check for you. Thank you. Yes, Congressman Bacau. Is there any relation to that? I believe that the PGMP uh, is conducting its annual general inspection. Just like the PNP uh, annual regular Mayroong yung team yan na umiikot uh, sa lahat ng mga region, naging papapas sila sa mga probinsya, and even down to the municipal police stations. I believe that the BGP has that uh, standard of uh, inspection, and uh, if I may request, uh, suggest Mr. Chair, for our next meeting, uh, they present to us uh, a result of their latest annual general inspection. Yes, for our uh, especially the, the standard. Uh, by which you will judge the conditions of the of the jails that are under uh, BJMP. Yes, Kolesa uh, Sakra. Uh, we request uh, thank you for uh, the to the BJMP because uh, they approve uh, our request and they ban our position because uh, before uh, it was monthly by uh, the different government. Yes, uh, may we also have a copy of the, your uh, standard memorandum of agreements with the uh, provinces? Because uh, we, we'd like to know what uh, what is the specific arrangement. Can, can you provide us a copy? Uh, how many how many uh, provincial jails are now under uh, memorandum of agreement with the uh, BJM? Uh, as of now, Your Honor, we have uh, 15 uh, provincial jails taken over with the BJP as well as out of 79. Yes, uh, yes, uh, uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, uh, yes, 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 uh, Uh, no, not Jedrick. They were uh, attacked and rescued by uh, hundreds and two hundreds of people. So we have to ask the AMP to, to assist us. So we are very very important. And uh, we have to be so to handle it. Because those people, when I uh, assume as governor, as a political appointee, not experience, and they just came up there. That was my opinion. Uh, so, 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 uh, so
Kalimantan itu habis, tapi mulai dari Pak Bimbing. Negara yang banyak, negara yang asisten terpanting. So, para memo warna yang ada di tempat kami. Saya manis dia, dia nak sama bawa orang tu dia mesti habis habis itu tempat ini. Like to knowledge uh, of the Yes. Uh, well, BJP would like a copy, a committee would like a copy of your existing uh, memorandum standard MOA with the uh, different provinces. Yes, Your Honor. We will, we will submit, Your Honor, the, uh, the copies of the MOA that we have. Because if, uh, if uh, such an arrangement can be made legally under, then why do we have to pass these bills when? Uh, 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 pwede naman pala on a voluntary basis. No? Uh, so we do not encounter problems with provinces who do not want to give up uh, management over their jails. No? Mr. Chairman, uh, that MOA was not challenged in court. That's why they are adapt. Many has adapted it and nobody questioned it. But once something happened, yes. the provincial government yes. will find itself responsible to whatever happens, even if it doesn't have a say in the management. Ah, uh, wala pang nangyari, kaya parang okay pa. Pero pag may nangyari, talagang gobernador ang sasagot na hindi na siya nagpapatakbo ng provincial chain niya. Yun ang isang problema na ng MOA. But kung hindi lang sa ating malibre ang provincial chain, nag-responsibilidad din. Kasi di ba, a, a, a delegated authority or a given authority cannot be further delegated. There's that uh, principle. So it delegated to BJP, the function which by law was given to provincial government and provincial governors. And therefore, when something happened, the responsibility and the liability attaches to the provincial governor and the provincial government. It does not attach to BJP. And that's, I think, the problem why we need to legislate in whatever capacity it is. Because I think the what is very apparent is there are 17 provincial government who said we don't have the expertise to run our and manage professionally our provincial jails. <laughs> and there are many more that will enter into the, the spirit to enter into that kind of arrangement if only the legal respo uh, responsibilities will also be uh, covered by that memorandum of agreement, which I don't think it can be. That's why we are interested in, in that memorandum of agreement. The committee will, will, is interested to see uh, what really uh, is the subject of the memorandum agreement? Congressman Piazza, you were raising your hand. Yes, I have a question. Eh. Like, yung, uh, under what authority is that MOA entered into? That's one. Second, uh, BJMP is uh, budgeted by national government. And I would assume that the provincial guards is what? Provincial? Yeah. Yeah. They have order. Exactly. So, yung ganun mga MOA, yung ganun klaseng MOA, that question of budget will come into play. Di ba? Uh, that's one. The second question, merong uh, city ordinances, barangay ordinances, that carry imprisonment, penalty. So, how do we categorize this? Sino ang um, responsible for, you know, the custodial disciplinary functions over, if you call them the inmates? Kasi may, may mga ganun eh, mga barangay na meron silang, ano ba, sa barangay ay alaalabang. Ang proposal nila, eh, yung nagbenta ng kondom, nagbenta ng kondom, ikulong, may fines pa eh. May mabrentes. So, how do we categorize this, uh, yung, yung penal system na yan? Maybe we may have to have a law, you know, classifying these different levels and classifying the assignment of responsibilities, uh, which level of government will be responsible for it. But initially, I, I am supportive of this, you know, provincial, I know, going BJMP. 
not the subject of MOA because that I, I, I find some questions on the legal basis of such MOA. Mr. Chair, can I now uh, explain further on professionalization? Uh, Congressman Ocampo expressed it. You're if you're recovering, you're worried that the families of this uh, inmate or detainee are they going to vote for you or not? You're you are more uh, sensitive to hiring people with more families, so you hire as jail guards, even those that are not qualified, because they are the children of your leaders. Uh, and there are many other considerations which I feel the, the penology system should be, in a way, uh, uh, protected no? or isolated from that kind of considerations. Kasi dyan nga nangyayari na makikita mo na um, some of the prisoners are pinamalabas dahil siyempre a leader ko, anak ng leader ko, o malapit sa akin, kapamilya ng leader ko, sino yung sa akin. We should not be, we should be addressed if we have a professional manager. Uh, second, favors inside. See? We, we don't uh, hanap buhay. Oh. So maraming ganun na hindi na natin isa-isahin. Pero bilang isang politiko, Alam ko mahirap sa ating mga politiko na humindi. Pero ang expectation ko, if you're a professional manager like BJNP or Bureau of Correction, you're not running into office eh. So you don't really, you're not more susceptible to that kind of influences. So that's the reason why we want to professionalize it. Ah, para wag, wag magamit yung penology, mapasuka ng politika yung, yung jail systems natin. Ah, if kasi ang BJNP yung may diferensya, madali silang sawayin, di ba? Because they are also afraid if a governor or a mayor will complain na they are, you know, letting prisoners go, they are allowing prostitutes to enter in jail, <laughs> the provincial jail or municipal jails, uh, they, are, they are more susceptible to complain rather than us uh, politicians, no? Uh, 